a cupped. This is half bead wire that I'm using. I got it from Rio. Now, it's about half hard, and for what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and anneal. So I'm just going to heat this until it's a dull red. I'm only going to do about 150 millimeters. So then we'll quench it to cool it to make my spiral. And that way it'll, it'll keep the uh, piece flat. So we want a nice tight spiral. And we'll just, we'll, I'm just going to cut this with my side cutters because it doesn't really matter. And then I'll just finish it. So this is 0.8 of a millimeter thick sterling and the beaded wire is also sterling. So I'm just going to solder that on now and that'll be it. And this bit that's hanging over will just file back. So I'm just going to flux this. So we mix up our flux. And then I'm going to cut a bunch of small pieces of hard solder. And space them around using my flex brush and we make sure we get them down in there we don't we don't want them up on top so the first thing we're going to do is dry out our flux I just have a nice neutral flame. Keep your solder pick in your hand. But go slowly, otherwise you'll bounce all of your solder out. So all we're doing is evaporating the water. So that's done. So now we're just going to circle and I'm about 75 millimeters away, about three inches in the old money. The flux has gone clear and there the solder is starting to flow. Don't 
don't melt your wire. So there. Now, if it's not completely down against the disc, you can just use your solder tip to push. So now we'll quench, have a look at it, and we should be able to see solder on the edge. Uh, if you can, great, go ahead and pickle it. If you can't, solder it again. I think we're ready to pickle. And I'm using sodium bisulfate for pickle. So this looks pretty good. I can see the solder in most places. So now I'm just going to file that little end using my Swiss number two cut flat hand file. So we just file it smooth with the edge and that gives it a nice little taper. Now I'm going to dome this this way and uh, we just make sure it's nice and dry because we're going on to a steel doming block with this and I'm using a nylon punch so that I don't damage the beading. I don't want a really big depression so you can see I'm using a fairly large opening for this and my nylon punch and we can hear that it hit the bottom lovely so that's what we want and now we're going to solder it on a ring shank so I'm using four by one and a half oval wire for the ring shank. It's annealed sterling. So I'll just go around the ring mandrel where I've marked it for the proper size. Just hold your thumb on it, push it around. Now I started with a longer piece than necessary so that if I want to make it bigger, I can. So I think I'll make it two sizes bigger. So we just put our piece in. Like that. So we know where to mark it. And I mark it with the texture. And I'm marking it on the outside because it's easier to see. Cool. Now we'll cut, file, and solder. So I just clamp my shank in one of the old style ring clamps. And now I have access to both of these. And I'll just saw them off. One at a time. And by being able to see the marks, I'll just file it back. And we can actually file them both at the same time. And if we did it correctly, it'll stand up by itself.
like that. So now we just make sure that it fits against the bottom and we check our angle. And then we just file to make sure the angle is correct. And I find it easier to hold it in the ring clamp. And it looks like it's going to take about a 10 degree angle. Lovely. So we're ready to solder. So line up your ring shank. Make sure it's straight up and down and side to side. Now I coat the whole bottom just so that I don't have to worry about fire scale. And I'm going to use a three millimeter long piece of hard solder on either side. Placed with a flex brush. And if we put that in place, in the correct place, so that it's nice and snug up against the ring shank, It'll just give us a nice little solder line that we won't have to tidy up. So dry out your flux first. And make sure the solder stays in position. You always have your solder pick handy when you're soldering. Lovely. So now we're just going to circle one at a time. So we'll do this one. The flux has gone clear and the solder will flow shortly. There. Switch to the other one. Lovely. So now we'll quench and pickle. All right, we're out of the pickle. Everything looks good. Fantastic. So I'm just going to put it in the tumbler and polish it, and it'll be done. So here it is, out of the tumbler, finished. Decent solder joins, hallmarked, and ready to go.